schedule and then you'll die. <laughs> We're gonna do a quick rundown here on our 2019 composite Boreas XT. We're gonna go through some of the specs and features on here. This trailer, everything you see, is our standard build. We'll start up front here. Every trailer comes standard with the lock and roll hitch coupler. Seven pin uh, connector allowing you to run uh, your electric brakes, the reverse lights on the trailer, also the 12 volt charge system. Uh, a little farther back here we have our tongue jack. What we do is we modify that and put a hard rubber caster on there, allowing the trailer to move much easier on gravel or dirt, full-size spare tire. Uh, we have an aluminum toolbox here, and this is gonna house your AGM battery along with the solar charge controller, and about two-thirds of this box is just purely storage. Up above, uh, we have our 100-watt uh, solar panel. That's keeping these batteries topped off, running the fridge, running the lights. Even with cloudy days, things like that, we run a high efficiency panel system, so you're pulling in a 23 to 25% efficiency. Up above, we have our Max Air fan. This is an all-weather fan, so you can actually run it open in the rain and the snow. You can see here, this is one of three color options that we have. This is our forest green. We have a desert tan and a storm gray. We'll take a peek here into the cabin. We have a fully insulated door with opening windows and screens on both sides, making great airflow. The camper is fully insulated. Inside is a queen size bed, uh, and it's a true queen, not an RV queen. So you actually have head to toe, six feet, seven inches. Inside you have your control panel, got your master switch. It also has USB ports, 12 volt ports, 110 plug-ins, thermostat or your 6500 BTU forced air furnace. And you have wrap around LED lighting in here, all on a dimmer switch. As we move back here, we have our Air Bionic. Has a great system for adding rooms and enclosures, sleeping more people with it. Right here we have shore power, and you've got your LED porch lights. This is your water fill for the 20 gallon onboard tank underneath. Every trailer comes standard with the Timbrin independent suspension system. We run the 3,500 pound HD kit. The thing loves washboard roads, loves Jeep trails, still has the great highway manners. Everything comes with electric brakes. We have our uh, steel diamond plate fender cover. Definitely can step on it, access the roof, no problem. On the other side of the camper, we have our on-demand hot water shower mounted in this Pelican case. Pop it open, adjust your settings, turn the shower head on, and you've got hot water anywhere you want. So here is the kitchen on the 2019 Boreas XT. Down below is our pull-out kitchen. This is mounted on the AccuRide 500-pound rated glides. They lock both in and out. Uh, we've got a two-burner Dometic stove with a glass top here. And then we've got our stainless steel sink with on-demand water. That's running off that 20-gallon water tank. We've got our Dometic CFX40 fridge. Plenty of room for the food and beverages for those long trips. This is running off that battery in the solar system. Um, super efficient, super low draw, and this thing will go to seven below zero. Up above here, we've got our stainless steel counter, PVC cabinetry. We've eliminated all of the wood materials out of here and plenty of storage for you know, full-size plates and pots and pans. Here with your control center, we've got LED lighting both above and here on the cabinetry. And just like in the cabin, everything is running on a dimmer. Uh, you've got your 110 plugs here, battery gauge, USB, 12 volt, and the, the switch for the pump. So I'm here with Ben from BRS Off-Road. Now he's brought along the Sherpa and this is such a unique little product. Tell me about the concept behind this, Ben. Um, we thought we would build a, a small little pod that you could just jump in and, and pull up for the night and not have to set it up and it'd be a hard shell. It would, there was no real opening of it. Now what I've loved about this particular product is just how quick and easy it is to set up. Yeah. You, you, you can fit four people and you can be literally set up within, what, two minutes? Yeah, it's pretty quick. So you can just pull up, roll the awning out. Yep. If you've got kids, you can lift the top up. 
and you're done. That's it. If you need a shower, you can you can open up the, the quick pitch shower and and that's it. So the shower was also, I find, to be a really awesome product. Yeah. It's like showering out under the stars, isn't it? It's not a contained yeah, shower. Yeah, it's not a contained shower. So it's got a, a drop-down canvas that just rolls out. It's got a, a, a diesel hot water system, so it's really quick to heat up and a couple of minutes you got a bit of, you got some hot water and you're ready to go. So And completely off road, but yet yeah. you've also got that hot water system you were saying to me before can also yeah. couple as a, a diesel heater inside as well, is that right? Yeah, so it's a, it's a heater as well in case you want to go to the the high country and somewhere, you know, the, the deserts do get cold, so the hard shell again is, is good for that and you can crank that little heater and it's like an oven in there. Now you've got something pretty special inside. I mean when you're out off road and you want a bit of luxury. Yeah. Um, you've got something you can lay in bed, have that diesel heater on, yeah. and as long as you've got channels or a DVD or something, yeah. you can chuck something on the TV, can't you? Yeah, so you've got the telly, uh, stereo, and you know some backrests there, a fan, and you can sit down and be out of the weather and, and the dust and the dirt for the night. And, and the flies. And the flies. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And the kitchen at the back is awesome. So you've got two fridges that I've noticed there. So you've got one yep. for the beer and you've got one for the food. Yep. And then you've got this little drop down and you can pop your, is it two burner gas stove or something along yeah, those lines? Yeah, so we've gone to a portable device because of um, gas and, and carrying gas bottles and stuff like that. So you can put any kind of portable cooker in there. And we've got a, a two burner Coleman in there, which also has a hot plate. And the construction underneath is pretty unique. What are the benefits of that? It's just got a single beam going right through under to its independent suspension. Keeps the camper lightweight. You only really need that single beam going right through on, on this kind of weight. It's, it's under a tonne. Where do you see this sort of fit? It's a, it's a full off-road rig, so you can definitely take it anywhere. I would. So the Sherpa? Yep. Families, couples, who's it for? It's for the younger families, the, the mum and dad that still might have the kids at home, but they might leave further down the track and you can get rid of that rooftop tent and you, you're left with the pod. There was so much to like about the Sherpa. Uh, so number one would be that ensuite shower that just pops down down the side. Uh, so you can have a shower under the stars, that was amazing, the kids really loved that. Uh, secondly would be the shadow awning that comes out to the side, um, goes out really quickly, no poles touching the ground so it's not in your way, kids aren't tripping over it. And the third would be just a little simple detail, um, there's a little window just above the main cab so when you lay down you can look out and see the stars overnight and I thought that was a really nice touch. We took it through some rocky terrain and um, yeah it handled really well, really light on the back, it was, it was good. What you guys have tried to achieve is the simplicity side of things but also yeah. having those luxuries and I think you guys have really nailed it you know you've got as you said the diesel heater the TV but you've also mm. just got that simplicity of you jump in there's a bed yeah you know you've got this brilliant awning that's out here yeah um, doesn't need poles or anything like no, that I've never seen strong. anything like yeah, it it's, super strong. yeah it's really strong yeah and then you've got the option of you know popping that rooftop tent on there if you wanted to do that or just having it as a pod like it's, yeah it's so versatile G'day guys, I'm Lane from Trackabout. We're going to spend a bit of time looking over our new Extender Tourer, how it sets up, a couple of the features we can fit to it for you, how the kitchen works and the inside bedding as well. First up, we're going to have a look at a few of the features on our Safari Extender. This trailer here has been one of our best sellers for many years and we've redesigned how the tent works on top of it. Like all our trailers, it's all based on a hot dip galvanised chassis. We've got our three and a half tonne fully off-road hitch up the front here, our stone protection with mud flaps which protect underneath the trailer, the stone guard here is designed to shoot the rocks back into the road and away from the back of the tow vehicle. This one here has also been fitted with our four bike ISI rack. This one sits up nice and high which allows easy access to your toolbox. It's not hanging off the back which means you have to unload the bikes every time you want to access your trailer. Underneath here we've also fitted it with our stainless steel outboard loader. This unlocks and then pivots down into an easy to load position and then locks back up. It's tucked in behind the stone guard so it protects the motor but it's also up the front of the trailer which is the most steadiest part. Up the front of the trailer we've got our aluminium toolbox. This allows for plenty more storage up the front of the trailer, but it also houses your hot water and power management systems. This particular trailer has been fitted with our Webasto fully ducted heating and hot water service. That's hot water through to your kitchen, through to your ensuite mixer tap, and ducted heating inside the main tent area. 
Underneath there, we've also got our battery management system. For this trailer, we've chosen to go with the Red Arc Manager 30. It's a 30 amp DC DC charger, which will supply 30 amps of power through to your batteries whenever your car's running. It'll also be a mains charger, which allows you to plug in generators, at a caravan park, or just a maintenance charge when you leave your trailer at home. And it's also a solar regulator for when you're off the grid, it allows you to supply power to the two standard onboard 120 amp AGM deep cycle batteries. It's all housed under this convenient tray under here, which adds to storage. On the side of the toolbox, we've got our waterproof and dustproof vent. This snaps open to allow ventilation for your Basto, but also somewhere to run your power leads through. Underneath here, you've got your mixer tap, so you can set the temperature for your showers, lock the tap off, and then you've just got an on-off switch inside the ensuite. Next to this is your ensuite outlet and also the optional creek suction. So this allows you to have limitless showers, wash the car down, wash the dog when you're out on your adventures. As long as you've got an external water source nearby, this will be plumbed through to your trailer. Being based on our ever-popular Safari Extender model, this one here features the walk-up area. This door drops down and gives you access to your clothing drawers inside. This can be accessed with the camper packed down, so on Friday afternoon, drop the door, fill it up with your clothes, pack it up and away you go. As with all our trailers, the importance of durability is a key point of our concern. Every single one of our trailers is laser cut, bent into shape, welded up by a team of welders and then hand sealed inside and out. This stops any water or dust ingress, but also stops any future rust issues. Every single hole that's on this trailer is either laser cut or drilled in before the powder coating process. And that means that this powder coating is inside every single rivet hole, which will stop any rust. The mudguard box here is a great place to store any dirty items. It's lockable, so you can put your expensive recovery gear in there, but it's also easy to access on the side of the road when you really need it. Out the back of our trailer, we've got the spare wheel, which is mounted to the greaseable tailgate, which is designed to take the weight of the spare wheel off-road. Every opening on this trailer is sealed with automotive pinch weld seal and lockable latches. Underneath here, we've got drop-down stabilizer legs and recovery points welded into the chassis. On the driver's side of the trailer, we've got our rear filler point for our 85 litre water tank and the hand pump that's plumbed up directly to it. We've also got two lockable four and a half kilo gas bottle holders, a mud guard box for added storage. This trailer has also been fitted with a secondary 85 litre water tank. So we've got the second filler point and the second outlet for it. The tanks are designed to work with changeover valves. So if you want to run them both together or separately, the choice is up to you when you're on your adventures. On every leading edge of our trailer, we've got stainless steel stone protection. That is riveted on as a sacrificial item. It's designed to last, but it's also designed to make the trailer look like you and protect the powder coating paint. Self-sufficiency is the key when you're on your adventures. So we've got four 20 litre jerry can holders on our Safari extender, and also a bit of added storage here in the pole box as well. All our trailers feature Australian-made suspension. As standard, we run the Nine Leaf Elko Outback Rebound suspension, but this one here has been fitted with our vehicle components, two ton independent suspension. It's a quad shock design that allows for a little bit extra ground clearance and a softer ride over the harsh terrain. This one here has got the wheels and tires to match a tow vehicle and we can do that to your car as well. It allows you to have interchangeable spares, which means if worse comes to worse, you can take a spare off the trailer and put it onto your car and get you out of trouble. The underbody of the trailer is a fully hot dip galvanized chassis. It's stone resistant and also rust resistant. It holds up a lot better than your painted and coated chassis. Mounted inside that is our water tanks. They're tucked up into the body for a lower center of gravity, but higher ground clearance. Housing those is a custom made bash plate. That protects any vulnerable plumbing and electrical lines coming out of the side of the tanks, as well as anywhere else on the trailer. We believe that an off-road trailer is more than just big wheels and tires. We've also fitted this trailer with our boat rack. We call it a boat rack, but really it's an anything rack. You can put your tinny up there, put your firewood, your swags, your toolboxes, your roof rack bags, surfboards, it doesn't matter, it'll set up there. Flip it out of the way and then set your tent up like it's not even there. It just means you're not unloading every time you get to camp. It's locked in with a custom built cam mechanism which takes any rattle out of it over corrugated roads. It's also got a big gas strut on the front which helps assist with the lifting. Right guys, we're around the side of the trailer now and the whole emphasis of this model is quick comfort. As you can see, it's got gas struts that support the tent, which really make for a quick setup time. A nice big drop down screen in the open plan living. That has a big window in it. As with all the windows around the camper, they're level with the bed with canvas flaps on the inside, which means you don't have to go outside in a storm to close it up. With all our extender models, we've also got the great big walk up step at the front. That provides easy access in and out of bed, but also houses the four built in drawers for your clothes, a big storage void, which you can access with the camper trailer packed down, or it makes for easy access in and out of bed at campsite. That also houses our ducted heating unit, and that recirculates hot air inside the camper area, thanks to the diesel unit we've fitted inside the front toolbox. 
Another great feature is the walk-up step light. It's a swivel light that operates at 180 degrees and also supplies light to the step or at the foot of your bed when you're set up. Another great feature we've got is the Trackabout TV setup. This comes in a custom-made padded bag that takes your TV in transit. It also comes with a 12 volt outlet in the walk-up, a 21 and a half inch screen TV with a DVD player and a custom made pole clamp which allows you to clamp it either at the foot of the bed or on any pole around the trailer. Check out how this works. Inside the main bed area, we've got a nice big queen size mattress. We've also fitted this one with our bed head fans and lights set up, which provides great personal lighting if you want to sit up in bed and read a book, but the fans are also great in those summer months for an extra bit of ventilation. Flexible lighting kit above me supplies enough light for the whole campsite. It plugs into our bedside power, which is a Nava cigarette socket and dual USB. Another great feature on the side of the trailer is our lockable mudguard toolbox. It's a great place to store your valuables when you're going for a hike through the bush or for a surf at the beach. Out the back of our trailer, we've got our gourmet kitchen. All our trailers come standard with a 60 litre Evercool fridge freezer and that's built to track about specs with the stainless steel latches and the Danfoss compressor. We've got Smev appliances in the kitchen here. Standard is the two burner, we've upgraded this one with a third burner for a bit of extra space. The Smev stainless steel sink comes with running water and an integrated waste pipe as well. As far as storage goes, you won't fall short on your track about kitchen. We've got an integrated cutlery drawer, a place for all your plates and your bowls, and another drawer here for all your glasses and your mugs. The focus on storage and weight, we've decided to go with an aluminium composite kitchen. It features a lightweight aluminium chassis cladded with composite panelling. The beauty of that is it allows us to have a massive kitchen with not too much weight. A kitchen of this side built of stainless steel, we'd be worried about spot welds and fracturing over rough terrain. But this one provides all the storage you need and all the bench space. This is our easy to access pantry. It features a small condiment straw on top and a deeper pots and pans straw below that. Pull this out a little bit, it gives you a bit of extra bench space and then it slides out all the way for a 450 litre slide out pantry. One of the things we see a lot of is camp kitchens with no bench space. You don't want to be chopping your vegetables and lifting up your fridge to grab more stuff out. What we've done here is feature the kitchen return bench. It folds out in a matter of seconds so it's perfect for roadside stops but it's also a great place to make your sundown drinks when you set up at your beautiful campsite. It has two very usable positions. This one here is our L-shaped kitchen return, but we can also extend it straight out from the kitchen and it's a great place to put your barbecue. As you can see, I do a lot of cooking on my Weber and one of the features I love about this is the additional gas outlet. It comes with a quick connect fitting on the onboard gas and a four meter braided gas hose, which I connect straight up to my Weber. It means I'm not getting gas bottles out when I'm at camp. I put my Weber on the return bench. I'm not under my awning, so I'm not smoking out with my roast. At Trackabout, we believe things should be easy to use. The easier it is to use, the more likely you are to use it. With that in mind, we've kept our fridge in the kitchen where it belongs, not in the front toolbox like you see in a lot of other campers. Stove and sink are easy to access with quick connect plumbing lines for them. You've also got all your cutlery drawers and all your pantry in the one spot. You're not walking around the camper every time you're trying to cook a meal. One of the key features of the Touring Series is the modular wall system. It basically means you can set up camp as much or as little as you want. Check out how these walls work. As you can see, you can set up as many walls as you want. Right now, we've just got it set up to enclose the living area in here so you can put your tables and chairs, but still have the grass or the sand down on the floor. As you can see, we've fitted all the included walls now. You've got a zip-in bucket style floor, and it looks exactly like our larger extender inside. It's a seven by nine foot tent, fully screened to keep all the mozzies out, and nice big canvas and mesh doors as well. Thanks very much for looking over our new touring series. We're super excited to have this model released now, and as you can see, it's really changed the way people camp. Introducing the next groundbreaking step in the X1's evolution, the Patriot Campers X1H. The X1 is unmatched and unrivaled in both stature and off-road ability. We were never going to stop refining this world-leading camper trailer. And now we've combined everything we know about touring into one versatile model that has redefined an industry again. The X1H features a never-before-seen exclusive from the world leader in off-road touring technology. The most convenient automated setup and pack-down ever offered in a compact, off-the-grid, ready camper trailer.
When you demand the very best in luxury off-road camping with plenty of space and only the best factory inclusions, the Exodus 16 has got to be on the top of your must-see list. The Exodus 16 combines the agility and off-road ability of a dedicated off-road camper trailer with the style and space of a cleverly designed and luxuriously appointed caravan. And best of all, it really is built to go absolutely anywhere. Although the Exodus 16 is the largest camper in the Exodus range, it still only comes in at 1,780 kilo, which means it can be towed by just about any four-wheel drive with ease. Like the rest of the Exodus range of hybrid vans, this trailer is built on a serious foundation. The chassis is constructed from 75 by 50 by 3 mil Australian steel that has been hot dip galvanized, and it is fitted with a Cruise Master independent suspension system that features twin shock absorbers. The Exodus is engineered to follow your four-wheel drive over even the most demanding terrain. Braking is taken care of by a quality set of US-made Dexter 12-inch electric brakes with a brakeway system. They are hidden away behind a set of six-stud alloy off-road wheels fitted with 17-inch off-road tyres. In keeping with the high-quality, heavy-duty theme, there are a set of four top-quality Alco drop-down stabiliser legs, a 10-inch Easy Mover Jockey Wheel and brilliant DO35 off-road coupling for the ultimate in off-road agility. Here at Complete Campsite, we believe the best inclusion should not be an option, but a factory fitted standard at no extra cost. Let's take a look at how we've made the Exodus 16 one of the best equipped campers on the market. It begins with a fully molded seamless one-piece insulated fiberglass body with pop top that is also fully insulated. The Exodus 16 is loaded with storage solutions, including a large locker on the drawbar, which features automotive quality dust and water sealing and compression locks. Just like the rest of the complete campsite range, all the locks on the trailer are key to like for convenience. The security door is lockable and also sealed against dust and water. All five windows are double glazed and feature privacy blinds and mesh screens. And there's even a quick rollout awning that comes as standard. The rear fitted ensuite features a fully molded fiberglass top and tough PVC sides. It's also home to the shower that features both hot and cold running water. Of course, just like the rest of the Exodus range, the van features the ultimate in stone protection, thanks to the tough and durable Rhino stone protection coating and tough stone guard and rubber flaps that will keep the front of your trailer looking great for years to come. The Exodus 16's got everything you need on the outside, but step inside and be prepared to be blown away by all the standard inclusions. Nothing beats a great night's sleep while you're away, and we've made sure that's taken care of, thanks to a quality queen size inner spring mattress complete with bedside reading lights and USB ports to keep your devices fully charged. Internal storage has been very cleverly thought out. There's a large rollout storage drawer under the bed, six internal clothes cupboards and storage lockers under the lounge. We've made it easy for you to keep your cool on even the hottest Aussie nights with a 12 volt roof vent and air circulation fan. And we've even got the entertainment covered with an AM FM radio with Bluetooth connectivity and speakers built right in, as well as two TV outlets and an external area connection included as standard. The heart of any home away from home is the kitchen and the Exodus 16 certainly got a beauty. The fully stainless slide out and swing away kitchen features drawer space, fold out benches and three burner stainless steel Smev stove and a built in stainless Smev sink complete with a hot and cold mixer tap. There's an 82 litre chest fridge freezer on a slide out drawer, plenty of pantry space over the kitchen with even more shelving space, as well as a very handy stainless steel slide out pantry that also provides even more clever bench space. As you can see, the Exodus 16 is your ideal solution for your short trips, and we've also got plenty of water on board for those extended stays. The Exodus 16 features two separate water tanks, an internally mounted baffle tank that holds 130 litres of water, and an external fully shrouded tank that will hold a further 100 litres. A diesel powered Webasto unit keeps the water hot and doubles as an internal ducted heater to keep the van warm on even the coldest nights. There's a 12 volt water pump built in to keep the water pressure up, a full filtration system, an external wash tap as well. There's even a second electric water pump built in for drawing water from an external source. And of course, we haven't forgotten one of the most important aspects of camping, and that's power. Come and have a look at the standard inclusions. The Exodus 16 is home to two huge 105 amp hour AGM deep cycle batteries, as well as a massive 300 watt solar panel to keep them topped up. These are managed automatically by a top quality Red Arc BMS 3030 BCDC smart charger. There is a handy water and power monitor to let you know the status of your water tanks and batteries at a glance and to let you make the most of all your appliances. And there is a 2000 watt inverter built in 
that lets you use your 240 volt gear just like at home. The lighting system is very frugal in its power consumption thanks to the use of LED lighting throughout. There are handy LED strip lights inside, bedside reading lights, and there's even an external LED strip that can change from white to yellow to help keep the bugs at bay. There's a 15 amp 240 volt inlet, complete with a circuit breaker and safety switch for those times when you're camping at a powered site. And there are two double power points as outlets. Topping up the batteries on the go is easy thanks to the 50 amp Anderson plug that is yet another standard inclusion. With advancements in our engineering methods, we are now releasing a camper trailer that satisfies these changing needs without leaving our true off-road heritage behind. We've refined our lineup of camper trailers to suit all different styles. So if you're as passionate as we are when it comes to conquering the unknown, we'll have a camper trailer for you. Scrutinised by Camper Trailer Australia, the X3 has been dubbed Australia's best camper trailer in its category for 2020. It's true Australian innovation and quality that you won't find anywhere else. Engineered for hardcore off-road adventurers and those that seek extra luxury. With the fastest setup and pack down in our entire range. Featuring diesel tent heating and hot water as standard, the X3 combines space age advancements in materials with impeccable build quality. Thanks to clever engineering, you've got it all in the new X3. The first live-in camper trailer from the global experts in off-road touring innovation. Patriot Campers.